Oh wow, a new Animal Collective album. Wasn't really expecting one so soon honestly. Yeah, with how big the gap between their previous album and Painting Weed was, I really was not expecting another album from the band like a year after. But I guess it is now time for another Animal Collective album. The band had already managed to surprise me by releasing an album that was actually pretty good after their disappointing 2010s run, so there was a chance that Animal Collective will have a full on renaissance throughout the decade. Besides, this one from the lead single alone had things that we haven't really seen from the band yet, like a nearly 22 minute song for example, and the album as a whole being their longest album yet. Also uh, a good album cover, I mean most of their albums have good album covers but hey it's still appreciated to see a good album cover, you know. So was the album good? Yeah honestly it was, uh, it was a pretty good album. Between this and Time Skips, I don't know which one I like more honestly, despite both of them being kind of different, even if both of them are well psychedelic albums. Time Skips I think is a more consistent album, but truth be told, this album might have higher highs for me, maybe even a more interesting sound approach. This album is very hazy, in a way it kind of feels like you're being pulled right into a deep forest that's colorful yet feels very mysterious and overwhelming. Yeah, this album in general has kind of a very autumn type of vibe. I guess that's why they decided to release it during the fall season. The first half of the album is really solid. Soul Capture is a very good song and a very fitting way to start the record considering it immerses you into the album's sound and tone really well. It's very lively. Then you have Genius Open which is even more hypnotizing and has a really cool chill section at the end that ties with the song really well. Brock Sadiac is also quite good. Magicians from Baltimore is probably my favorite song on the album. It's not only downright trippy, it feels kind of haunting as well with how abstract some of the elements of the track are. Also the piano throughout the second half of the song, it's just beautiful. Really love this one. Oh and yeah, the, uh, the 22 minute long song, Defeat. I like this song, but it does seem to be one where I really need to be in the mood to enjoy it fully. Sequence wise, it feels kind of a fitting track to put after Magicians from Baltimore and the scene section in the middle I also do really like as well. But I won't lie, this one does drag for a little too long in my opinion. I feel like a quarter of it could be at the very least cut. The rest of the album is also solid, although not quite as good as the first half. Gemini is a decent track, but it's kind of what we already seen from the band do in the first lack of the album. The same can be said for All the Clubs Are Broken actually. And the last track I actually don't really like, mainly because it kind of feels like a wordless finale, like it feels like the band decided to take one part of a song and make it the whole song, you know what I mean? It feels kind of incomplete. Like maybe that was the intention, but it doesn't really add anything to the album nor to the sequencing of it all, especially because this also doesn't really need to be 5 minutes. I will say, Straight Ride is a very good song and definitely my favorite song from the later half of the record. It goes for kind of a relaxing aquatic approach and while I think a song from the previous album does that relaxing and aquatic approach better, they still manage to pull it off here. So in a sense, this album is kind of inconsistent, mainly because most of the exciting things about it are mostly from the first half and afterwards it feels a little trading ground from what we already heard before. But again, the highs are definitely something worth checking out, especially Imagines from Baltimore which might potentially be my favorite song the band has done throughout the decade. Although this album is still very new so that might be bound to change. Still with how engaging the album can be on its psychedelic, hazy and hypnotizing textures and even its songwriting, I do think it does serve as a worthy follow up and an even bigger sign that the band is back to making good music. And really all they needed to do was just to strip things back and make something that felt like a far more genuine and natural effort than their 2010s records which in my opinion felt like they were just trying too hard. It's a good album.